the mm-hmm. show Love is Blind, I was mm-hmm. watching it and I seen a dude propose to a chick he's never seen. Oh my God. Yeah. Do, y- do y'all think... Oh, there you go. Hold there on. He, he called back. Yeah, go ahead and answer. <laughs> he said he was going to win. He was he gonna, just going to break your big ass down. <laughs> he going to break your big pretty ass down. You said you was going to break my big pretty ass down. Uh-huh. Bring him by the mic. Uh-huh. By the mic. It's on some what happened. You said you was going to break my big pretty ass down. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm here. How Get in there. What to do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I'm your host, Day, with an I, not a Y, do not ask why. It's your boy, D Rock, the CEO of Trash All Rock Networks, where we can speak vernacular, which is proper English. But you know, we choose to express ourselves in this this waste management talk, um, uh, aka trash. You dig? Trash talk. That was a full circle moment. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> and it's your girl, that damn pretty. Cool. Plain and simple, pretty <laughs> and etiquette. Definitely. And we got a great one for y'all. Um, and we're going to get straight into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to Pretty and Rock, you know, for being a part of this. And I say that because I have a feeling y'all might see their faces a little <laughs> bit more than none. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all were on part of the show. Shout out to Larry and Lionel because honestly, this wouldn't even be if not for Larry and Lionel. Absolutely. Larry and Lionel, uh, you know, extended an invitation for me and Pretty to co-host their live show out here in Charlotte, which was lit. And then Rock actually was a part of it as well because he made a guest appearance during one of the games (laughs) and shut it down. Like, he he, he stole the crowd. For sure. Um, But I say that because one thing that Larry and Lionel, I noticed from their show, Mm -hmm. first and foremost, is they have a team. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing this podcast shit by myself for a long time and I've gotten somewhere, but... I realized I can't really get far unless mm-hmm. I have a team. Right. And it made sense to bring Pretty along because she, to this day, has the highest viewed oh. vid- podcast <laughs> and that's clips tough. on YouTube. That's tough. That's so tough. can we, can tough. we Let's give, that up. Let's give, it, give up. it up for Pretty for that first and foremost? <laughs> our hour and Shout a, out Pretty. Our hour, today, as of today, our hour and a long podcast episode, over 11,000 views. Yeah. And that's an hour and a half. Yeah. And then she has a clip that has 230,000 views. God, damn. <laughs> and I'm not even going to tell y'all what the clip is. Just go find out. Uh, but uh, it'll absolutely. be worth the visit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, shout out to Laren Lionel just for like displaying the importance of a team yeah. mm-hmm. and a community. They have a community mm-hmm. that popped up. It was people I know, from, right? yo, they Ten- traveled. Travel, Tennessee, no, Pittsburgh, sure. all that. Like, for I sure. was so like starstruck yeah. at that yeah. thing. Like, yeah, it really sure. opened up my eyes. So, for shout sure. out to Laren Lionel. Absolutely. It definitely shout made me realize how to do further things. So, let me ask y'all. We all were a part of the live show. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, you know, I know all of us did a good job. I had a mm-hmm. great time. I had a fun time doing it. But, mm-hmm. you know, what was y'all experience like during that live show? How did y'all, you know, feel you did? And what did you, <laughs> what type of vibe was it overall? Let's start with you, Pretty. Yeah. Oh my God, that's something I always like dreamed of doing, being on the stage. But when, like, I would never have expected it to happen. Like, it would just have been a dream. So when I got the message, I was like, it came to my email. I was like, oh, this shit official. Shout out to Adrian. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't sending on no DMs or nothing. I was like, you real professional. Like, the whole thing was professional, like, letting know the deadlines Mm -hmm. with them making the flyers and so yeah. when I got up right. there I was so nervous yeah. <laughs> but then when I got there I was like okay like exactly. it was nothing yeah. and yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed sure. it sure. so it's like playing sports you know you're mm-hmm. nervous at first mm-hmm. but then once that first snap or you know the first whistle blows mm-hmm. and you, you know what I'm saying like you get the motion going you're like oh this is easy yeah. nah, for sure. you know I'm saying it's simple no nah, for sure um, and did. it was it was at a venue it was at the comedy zone here in Charlotte zone. and it was packed too yeah, yeah that like ain't the no cafe was there. yeah it was flooded no, what about you, Rock? Um, for me, like like Pretty said, um, like she was elaborating on, like it was always a dream, you know mm. what I'm saying? And um, like for it to come true, and you know, uh, I went out there to just support, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And when you told me that, like, yo, you might need me to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, for yeah, a segment, yeah. yeah, you know, it was it was it was beautiful, bro, like yeah. because you know. The crowd got involved, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had set a line, yeah. they booed it, then I had to pick myself back <laughs> up. So yeah. like, <laughs> Well, let's talk about it. So the game that Rock was on was shoot your shot. Absolutely. So Rock had to shoot a shot at a young lady, basically yeah. spit your best game. Absolutely. Let the people know what you said to her. All right, so when I... <laughs> When I approached it, um, so you know, I come from that 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 the pimp era. Like I watched like a 
like the Mac and a lot of that shit. Yeah, that's movies. Up. That's real life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's movies. That's real life. Tell them what you said. Um, you know, I started it off. My uh, my engagement was, you know, uh, hey, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm trying to put a little bit of paint where it ain't. <laughs> And you know that shit got people n- lost their fucking mind. That shit got bro. That, he said, "I'm trying to put the paint where it ain't." People man, lost their fucking that shit mind got me in nowhere, there, bro. bro. So like, you got to think about it, bro. It's it's a it's it's a crowd full of people. Yeah. So when I said that and I heard the booze, yo, my heart, <laughs> my heart, <laughs> my heart, like you know what I'm saying, about to jump out my chest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm about to faint in some motion. <laughs> like, Damn. Hey, oh, they go. Yeah, they moved, they moved the fuck out of him. Yeah, for sure, sure. But you stayed in the game, though. Nah, for sure. And you ended, he ended up getting a green card because yeah, yeah, it was sure. green for or sure. red. He ended up getting a green card because she said she liked the confidence. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you got a green card. So, yeah. I mean, hey, listen, pimping yeah. is pimping unless it ain't pimping. Come on. You know what I mean? Come on, <laughs> come on. All right. Um, um, but, like, um, let me uh, ask you this day. Um, how was the experience for you, though? Oh, man. Um... It, like pretty said, just getting the email from mm-hmm. Adrian and mm-hmm. then getting the because I watched Learn Lionel. Mm-hmm. I so when I first started my podcast, I would watch their clips mm-hmm. and I picked up my captions from them. Mm-hmm. So when they hit me up and it was like Learn Lionel, I was like, hold on, Learn Lionel. I typed in, it was like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Are yeah. you kidding me? Absolutely. It was like, yo, we're gonna be in Charlotte for a live show at the Comedy Zone. I'm like, bro, that's big. Absolutely. And um. So right then and there, I was I was fucked up. I told my mom and shit. But yeah. at the time of the show, man, it was such great vibes from start to finish. Just from being the in the green room, room. Mm-hmm. The backstage in the green man. room, it was it was so good vibes between everybody, yeah. their whole team, their whole staff, even the Comedy Zone staff. Free chicken wings, free tequila shots. Like man, oh, that's some shit you see on like love. YouTube. It was love. I see that like at Rolling Low, Loud. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I see yeah. that at. Artists, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, Artists, yeah, yeah so people get all that exactly. So to live that, it was fucking amazing. But to actually be on the stage and you know uh, co-host my segment, mm-hmm. which was a shoot your shot joint, yeah, man, that let me know that okay, yeah, this is. I ain't gonna lie, they like just like you know, just like looking at the like how you did, but mm-hmm. you did amazing, bro. Appreciate like that, you, you controlled the crowd, oh, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. You was Appreciate engagement that. and like. You gave off such confidence, bro. Like, Appreciate that. And that was your first time doing that, right? First time ever. Bro, I <laughs> couldn't tell. Yeah, well, I, I that, know, was my, right? that was my first time ever doing that. But I played sports, and I've always been comfortable doing speaking in front of crowds. Mm-hmm. So I'm good with speeches and all that. But as far as, like, doing, like, live entertainment, mm-hmm. that was the first time I ever did that in front of people. But, Not for sure. you know, again, you know, I don't know. I guess years of podcasting led up to that moment. Yeah, yeah for sure. I couldn't have done that two, three years ago. And so. it, it gave me like a new respect like for com- comedians. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it gave me like a new yeah. respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so um, like we said, that took place in Charlotte. Shout, uh, the Comedy Zone of Charlotte. Shout out to Comedy Zone again. So all of us currently live in Charlotte. Um, mm-hmm. Pretty, you're from Charlotte. Where are you from exactly? The West Side. West Side. Shout out to the West Side. Daddy's forward to the wheels fall. Yeah. West side. I'm myself from Maryland. Um, right. I'm, from, I'm from the Ville, uh, Fayetteville to be exact. Um, Cliffdale, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fayetteville. All right, so Absolutely. we're all current residents of Charlotte. We've been here long enough, especially you, Pretty, of course, but me and Rock have been here long enough to I know believe. the ins and outs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not saying, yeah. you know what I mean? You've never left your block or nothing, but you know, <laughs> um, we're, we're all familiar with it, right? So, Pretty, I want you to lead us off with a little uh, little uh, hot take that has something to do with Charlotte. So, what Imagine. are some places you would not take your sneaky link in Charlotte so that they won't be seen? Okay, okay. Ah, that's a good one. Um, Slingshot. Slingshot, slingshot. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's at slingshot. Yeah. Because um, the reason why I would say slingshot because um, when you're like Googling places or like uh-huh. TikTok, or, like slingshot is up there. Yeah. South End in general is kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah, you got to be tricky. careful with South End in general. I would say Optimus Hall. Optimus I've home. never been to Optimus Hall and have not seen someone I didn't know. Okay. Like every time I go, I run into somebody I know. Optimus Hall for sure. Okay. No and- Outbacks. Outback Steakhouse? Yeah. That's big out here? Yeah, okay. I feel like a lot of people are always in Outback. Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say stats. Stats, mm, stats oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. Because stats for literally, sure. Um, even if like your partners aren't there, somebody that she knows mm-hmm. there or... You know, you, you just don't want to, and this is so in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Like, Everyone goes to Stats. That's bro. a good one, actually. Stats yes. is a good Stats one. Is Y'all a... ever been to Circle G restaurant? Circle, Circle G? G? Nah. No. Oh my god. What, ta- what mama, type of vibe is it? It's a mom and pop. Really? No. Black owned? No. Okay. Well, what ta- that's what, why I never heard of it. What, what type of what type of what type of vibe is it? It's like they close at two six. Oh, so oh, early, well, like a brunch type joint. 
Yeah, but it's like a mom and pop where they have like liver mush mm -hmm. and you can have chicken. Breakfast. Let me stop you right there, pretty. <laughs> this fucking liver mush shit. You currently, I didn't even hear about liver mush until I moved out here. First yeah, off, we're not doing what, what is liver mush? Right. I don't know. I just know it's good. You want me to tell you what it is? <laughs> it's a concoction of throwaway parts of a pig. Oh my God. <laughs> Asshole, toenails, snout, eyelids, so all that shit. why you had to tell me that? Because I want to educate you. But it's the same thing as Scrapple. So where I'm from, we call scrapple. it Scrapple. Yeah. Do y'all fry liver mush? Yeah. Do, well, how do you eat it? Raw or fried? Fried. I'm just shit. Yeah, I've seen some someone eat it raw. Negative. Or you could put it on the top of the stove. Yeah. Without it. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's scrapple. Scrapple's delicious, but when I found out what was in it, I had to fall back. It was no toenails. Are you? Are you? Was fuck, you was crispy, fucking with it? Crispy. Scrapple at first when I was a oh, kid. Yeah. Yes. Damn. With some eggs. Yeah, scrapple with eggs. Oh my goodness, and some grits. It's, oh Ooh. my god, mix it all together. That is Ooh. crazy. Or I was a sandwich. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad, yeah. I'm glad I never participated. My in grandfather was from Alabama, so I will make y'all one. You know, no, negative. I will not I mean, partake I, in any oh scrapple or living mush ever. But um, are we are we done with the list as far as spots? Oh no, nah, um, ta tattoos and booze. Tattoos, tattoos and, and booze. booze. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that is a very good one. Tattoos and booze. Because you know, tattoos and booze, you know, people go to the second floor. When you up top, mm -hmm. you can see everything. Oh, so sure. you be done walked in, yeah. you think it's sweet. Somebody up top, Ben scope your ass out. It's Ove. You. It's Ove. And you'll fuck around, be bell belly me in that bitch. It on, is. On how to be a player. It is. <laughs> Ove. Yeah, tattoos and booze is a good one. Tattoos and um, booze. Let's Steak see. and 48. <laughs> Steak 48. Yeah. 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 Uh, how about you? Music Factory. Music factory. Certain uh, spots. You might be good though. It just depends on what night. Ducked off. Yeah, you might be good. It just All depends right. on so like, music the factory. Night. Sweet. I'm gonna tell you a spot to go when you do want to be ducked yeah, off. Yeah. Valentine. Man, you're super ducked over. Oh here. yeah. Valentine. Man, is so ducked you off. You gotta think about it. Charlotte is a part of like Valentine's a part of Charlotte. Yeah. But it's a whole new world over there. It reminds man. me of Long Island to New York City. Yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah, its perfect. own that's thing. Perfect. That's you perfect. know what I mean? And it's money. Mm -hmm. I always whenever I hear Ballantine or someone that lives in Ballantine, I say, Oh yeah, Ballantine, I get the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, where you, yeah. you yeah. taking her to? Bonnie and Clyde. If I'm trying to be ducked off? Yeah. I don't know a whole lot of spots out here, but yeah, um definitely Ballantine is nice. I would start there. Um, yeah. Midtown is pretty sweet too. Like Central Ave, Midtown, Midwood Plaza. Yeah. It's it's not it's always it's a lot of people, but it's not like hot. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So what about you? Where are you going for your ducked off, uh, duck off occasions? We going to like Gaston, yeah. Mm. I mean, when I go on dates, That's yeah, really I do not off. let y'all come in. Mm -mm. Gastonia <laughs> really ducked off. Gastonia I'm saying, what you, what you going to do out there, though, pretty? Rock Hill. What is in Gastonia? That's what I'm saying. Like an Outback, a Longhorn, <laughs> okay. or something, okay. yeah. Okay. What if you like, man, that's that's cool, but I'm trying to do it big, baby. Let's go to Steak 48 or the Brazilian Steakhouse on Tryon. Let's, let's go to Roof Chris. Right, Roof Chris on Tryon. I'm saying, yeah. no, it's nothing I'm going to like to eat. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. Hey, yo. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> hey. You be like, Wait, you want to eat at Outback, but not Roof Chris? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we got to go to Gas Studio? Right, hold on. We're going to Gas. He's going to be hip. And he's going like, to be like, yo, I'm going to be like, I got food poison at all little ones in Charlotte. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm going to say, look at the sanitation score. There's something in the air in Charlotte. We got to go to Gas Studio. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Well, let me say this. Speaking of food, we actually have been uh, um, so graciously blessed with some food Absolutely. by V Cuisine, which is a food page and mobile food stop for my homegirl Valencia. Yes. Um, and she can throw down, y'all. She Absolutely. actually made us each a plate. So I want us to just quickly sample this, leave our live review, and then shout out to V Cuisine. Y'all cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Right, shout, out, shout out V Cuisine. Yeah. Yeah, shout out V Cuisine. Shout out to V Cuisine for these amazing looking plates. So what we have is jerk chicken, cabbage, and macaroni and cheese. Now let me say this. Y'all know how important macaroni and cheese yeah. is to a meal. Nah, for sure. I'm going to start there. Okay. Because oh that sets the tone. Nah, absolutely. If you can't make the macaroni good, then everything else ain't here. So that sets the tone. Yeah, for sure, yeah. sure. How y'all cook y'all macaroni? I don't make macaroni and cheese. What? Y'all yeah. don't. I'm not, I'm not on that level. Damn. You There's know. room temp because I, I I had these sitting out for a minute, but it's still banging. Yeah. Yo, I can't lie, yo. I'm a I'm a connoisseur. This mac if y'all are into <laughs> you're ASMR, a if you're into ASMR, then this is this is probably hitting home for yeah. you right now. Not for sure. 
Damn, the cabbage hit. Mm. The mac and cheese is marvelous. Yeah, the macaroni is great. That's us at all. It's not too cheap. Yo, this cabbage. It's not too cheap. I'm ready to go for the jerk chicken. So I put a lot of sauce. I like spicy food. Y'all like spicy food? No. Mm. I love yeah. spicy food. Yeah. yeah. So I put all the sauce on my I chicken. I can fuck with the pot. I can fuck with the spicy. I hope it's not on my sauce. I don't even eat cabbage, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. This whole plate about to get thrashed. <laughs> <laughs> I said we were supposed to sample it, but yo, yeah. <laughs> I'll take about 10 bites. Hold up. All right, y'all, I'm only going to do two more. Hold yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, son. That's yo. a different type of cabbage. Nah, I'm used sure. to sweet, but this is not bad. So she's Jamaican. Spicy. Yeah, Jamaican, I think, is more so based like spicy. Mm-hmm. I dated a Jamaican chick before. She changed my life sexually. Oh, my God. <laughs> she turned me she out. She was spicy. She turned me out. She's the reason I am the way I am now. What? What are you? Just freaky. <laughs> I'm mm. not the biggest freak in the world, but I'm all right. Bumble clock. Mm-hmm. Mm. They suck their teeth. So I, I saw a video about stereotypes with Jamaican women when they mad, and one was like sucking their teeth. Yo, Jamaican women, they mad, really suck the fuck out of their teeth. Damn, what would that be about? Mm. And they accent come out. Damn. Yo, that shit was so sexy. I used to get them mad on purpose. And fuck the shit out of it. Oh my god, that is the best type of sex. Mm -hmm. I do stuff like that. Mm. Stuff like what? Like, uh, make you mad just so we can have angry sex. Hey, mm. so what would that be about? Elaborate. Like coming from a woman. It's spicy. So like, why why do you why do you why do you why do you gotta so get mad to have amazing sex? Because y'all, it spices it up. Like I like role playing stuff. So yeah. is it the emotion mad, behind it? Like, ugh. So is it you, the is it the emotion behind it since y'all are more emotional us emotional than us? Is it like the emotion behind knowing that you're getting fucked out of like angriness? Oh, I never thought about that. I just like it rough and like bow, like you think you punishing me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you sense. really not. I sense. just now don't have to tell you to go harder. You can go oh, harder. Because you're already going hard. Because yeah. it's like, who the fuck you playing with? <laughs> ah, Damn. That's interesting. Hey, we call okay. that we call that science. So, right. <laughs> Uh, so let me ask you, pretty, uh, both of y'all actually, mm -hmm. what's the best sex? Angry sex, makeup sex, or drunk sex, or high sex? Oh my god, that makeup to me, mm -hmm. to me, because it's like, yo, very passionate. Yo, I did you wrong. Makeup you know sex is very fucking passionate. But now I'm about to whoop oh your god. shit. You feel me? <laughs> I'm about to pull my bed out and whoop your shit. It's so good. That seasoning, is that the season? Hey, this shit on point. Mm. Man, this shit is A1. Yo, we were supposed to take a sample of it. We're crushing, oh but it's actually going with the vibe, so I don't mind it. No, absolutely. Yeah. I ain't going to eat all this so they can be. Yeah, be yeah, bad. yeah. I'm, I'm going to just take like one or two more bites. <laughs> you said that last time, <laughs> <laughs> This shit is crazy, you bro. You said that last time, bro. Like, <laughs> I love food. Mm hmm. And I, I, I love home cooked meals, you know? Mm, absolutely. Like, we this can go out cool, but home cooked meals? Nah. That's 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 sure like if I like all right, so well, you know who? Home. If she can make a bomb ass home cooked meal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. She hasn't made you one yet. Hey, look, so she said she could cook though, so like you're, you're I, a chick that can't cook won't say she can cook. Cause well, then she, cause she knows she's gonna be tested. Nah, for sure. She says she can cook, but she just been going out a lot lately because it's just her. So invite her over for a staycation and She's going mm. to feel the need to cook for you if you're doing what you're supposed to do and making her feel wanted. Mm. She's going to cook for you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, with my girl, man, she throws down. But she'll ask me, like, how is it? Did you have to ask? Everything you cook is amazing. Like, what do you okay. mean? Okay, I'm going to actually do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Invite her for a staycation. Get a whole bunch. I got to go grocery shopping for, though. Yeah, for sure. To get, like, some ingredients. I won't let her know though. Like I'm gonna just make it look like that's just naturally in the crib. So I'm gonna yeah. get some stuff from the now, grocery take it, store. Take it with you. Take it with you. Nah, nah, nah. I want it to be a surprise. You, you don't want him. You don't want it to be forced. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna then think she has to cook. Exactly. I'm gonna oh, make it a okay. surprise. I'm gonna saying. get some, you know, ingredients and shit. And be like, I mean, you know, just check the kitchen. I might got a little something. <laughs> that, shit, she, that shit gonna be fully loaded. <laughs> yeah. And then she see it and be like, oh yeah, I could definitely make something. Yeah. Yeah. Had a pot out. Yeah, you got pots out, but. I bet I'm gonna do that. I appreciate. I feel that. inclined. Like if I stay at the house and I'm like, okay, I that's crazy. Like with men, mm -hmm. I will if I stay at the house. Well, if I do it, I stay at the house. But yeah. I will make up the bed, like go in there and mm -hmm. um, wash the dishes, clean it up, yeah. and stuff like that. 
but there's times I've been just ready to get out the house. Like right, it, right, it depends right. on like the vibe that you give nah, me. Like sure. you know, took care of me and stuff. Like, do, do it also depends yeah. on how much you like that person. I guess, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or does it depend on if he put it on you, or is it both? I guess it just depends on. I mean, like even before, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all catch that contact, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Some women just do that, like just because they just like like you. Mm -hmm. And, and that that is first of all that's very attractive and two that's just a natural like like good trigger for men if you would yeah and I say that because yeah, yeah. it was a recent occasion where I had this girl over that I like mm -hmm. and it was clothes on my bed I did laundry it was just a whole bunch mm -hmm. of clothes on my bed right mm -hmm. I didn't even say nothing to ask nothing she folded my clothes folded my drawers yeah women we we'll do that if we feel like do y'all know how big of an impact that little gesture has man that little gesture is everything I'm like bro. oh fuck Fuck, she's trying to trap me. Right. <laughs> Not trap you. Yes, she is. You just done saw you a good woman. Uh, oh. Mm, that girl is poison. <laughs> a good woman is poison, baby. Yes. I'm telling you. Tell you. I try to run away from good woman. <laughs> Why run? Because I don't. It's 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 because I mean the science. The streets is, need me. That's why. <laughs> you've been in the streets the, all the your life. The science. The science is uh pretty is like, yo. I've been living foul. And you come in so good, so clean. I don't want to, you know, fuck up what you got going on, man. So you can I'm, just put that under the sofa. Oh yeah, for I don't sure. Feel like getting up and moving it, but um, yeah, yeah. So that was a very, very uh, big gesture. Um, Wait, can, can we shout out um, the cuisine one more time? The cuisine, yes, yeah, that was good. As you, as you can see, we were only supposed to take a sample. I, man, I had man. about fifteen <laughs> bites. And Rock doesn't even eat meat. Mm -hmm. He was just crushing the sides. Yeah. Pause. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, First yeah, of all, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah. where, where his meat at? <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Yeah, I, I want that skin. That skin good. You got to answer that. The chicken skin That's after the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, after the show. Wait, wait. You eat, you eat just the chicken skin? Oh my god, yes. You mm -hmm. a freak? That mm -hmm. that. That's yeah. some freak ass shit. That chicken skin done turned me on. I'm wet right now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> I wish I could show y'all, but it's going to get blocked. I mean, you, oh, yeah, you're right. Like, this thing, get, um, we put this on OnlyFans? I need to start. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, um, open a Patreon soon. Okay. And have certain content to go on Patreon. So do you normally get uh, aroused by good food? A lot of stuff turn me on. What are some abnormal, some other abnormal things that turn you on? Um... This one thing, this this boy had told his line brothers, I was at this event, and he told his line brothers to look out for me. Mm -hmm. And they was, like, buying me drinks and looking after me, and mm -hmm. he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And that turned me on. Like, I just wanted to, like, oh. You wanted to fuck all of them? Yeah, no. The oh. one who said the... Oh, oh. I'm, I didn't know you... They I, do I look like I, that. I didn't know what you was talking I about. I never had multiple dicks in a day or multiple dicks in a week. I mean, okay. a lot of women a lot of women fantasize that. Oh, my God. They do. I ain't saying... Two dicks in one girl? I don't know about the same nah, time. Nah, nah. Well, first of all, let me ask you that. As a man, <laughs> if two men are in one woman at the same time, uh, is, that a, is that like spicy? Man, that's that's on uh, the man's part. Yes, man, uh. like, my thing is, I'm not getting naked in front of a man, bro. That see that right there, but even let alone that. But I'm saying when you when two dudes are in one woman at some time, something's gonna like whether right. it's legs, it's, something's it's gonna something, touch. It's something that's like <laughs> chemically unbalanced with the men. You know what I'm saying? Because how are you okay with that? Like, bro, you want to whoop that shit that bad to where like you can't wait your turn like five <laughs> minutes, ten. Bro. I, I've uh, since I was a kid, I've been watching porn for a minute. Since I was a kid, I'm like, yo, that shit is weird. I yeah. think I think a porn like psychologically like fuck a lot of people head up because for those that's actually doing that shit in real life, bro, you're sick. You're but sick, you said bro. okay, you said you wouldn't even be able to get naked and uh, like you want to be able to like gia chick pretty much. What you mm -hmm. mean? A train. Like in the same room, have oh, yeah, a threesome, two gang bang, two, gang bang not, G. Yeah. I, I mean, I come from the Ville, so like it's a lot of dudes that we Do, did that, that, right? Yeah, you know, we that grew we, up with no, listen, dudes that listen. Did it. it was a lot of dudes that I thought was straight, right? And no, you know, Lord. and um, mm. you know, later on down the line, yo, they coming out like, yo, mm. I'm gay, and like these niggas is like, like Hood. solid niggas. Oh my god, you know what I'm saying? Jail? So just hearing that, bruh. Could be a factor. Just hearing that, like I'm, I'm straight on that. Like, but my question is, mm -hmm. a threesome, like, 
Threesomes, you, two girls, yeah, one boy. So it's a it's a double standard. We're talking no. about two guys. That's mm-hmm. a gangbang. Okay, then a gangbang. Could yeah. you do a gangbang? I'm cool. All right, I'm cool. Why do you think that's gay when it's two men naked and one chick? I don't think it's necessarily like gay, mm-hmm. but like just me off my comfortability, mm-hmm. like me and a woman, mm-hmm. like I'm like I'm passionate about my mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like I want to like you know suck titties and mm-hmm. grab your weight. I, I don't. Like, hey, what? watch out, bro. Like, <laughs> nigga, like, move the fuck out the way. Don't be trying to sneak. Like, nah, watch out. So, like, yo, I'd rather just get mine on my own. You feel me? So, but. would you go after someone in the same day? Mm-hmm. Back in the day, I would have. But nowadays, yeah. like, nah. Yeah. I've done it in the same, like, Sitting. five minutes. Okay. So like, we ran a train. Watch they coochie? No, I, we wrapped up. Like, and it was head, and a few of us hit, but some of us getting head. Like, I ran a train on a chick. She mm-hmm. wasn't wore out. <clears throat> Nah, I ran a train on a chick before. Like, we each took turns. We was at a playground. We each took turns. Playground? Yeah, it was in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy times. But like I've it's... never had... I think... I don't think it's necessarily gay when it's two dudes hitting a chick. I think it's just... Me, personally, I think it's a little weird. Yeah. Like Rock said, I'm selfish with a woman when I'm having sex because yeah, I want to do everything Absolutely. to her. Absolutely. And when it's another dude in there, it's just... I, I just think it's weird. But you in a way. All right, you got to watch him yeah. give head, and so, that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's... Right, I don't know. Up. It's weird. And then it's my homeboy. I'm like, why am I seeing my homeboy naked? I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to lie. I've had a threesome with two women. Okay. That's like I said. I'm very. I love women. I'm passionate with women, especially with sex. So I had a threesome with two women, mm. but I never. I kind of attempted to have a threesome with a woman and my friend, mm. two friends, three of us and one chick. Mm. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even. I couldn't. Even, I, I yeah, couldn't do it. I couldn't yeah, even get turned yeah, yeah, on. Sure. You, you wasn't or some. I guess so. Yeah. I couldn't even get hard. I'm like, yo, I don't know. That me personally, this shit is just a little weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let me yeah, ask yeah. you, as a woman, pretty, do you think that's weird or normal? Because they say, a lot of women say that's a fantasy of theirs. So do you think that's normal or weird or whatever's your take on two guys and one girl? Uh, I feel like <laughs> one dick at a time. I'm not about to have two dicks destroying my vagina. <laughs> And then I get some. I don't know who gave it to me. Uh-uh. Yeah. I That's what I'm saying. Dick. It just can get tricky. It can just go all bad. Some women have gotten pregnant from gangbangs. I be mad. Damn, it's probably the one that you don't want to be the daddy that end up being a daddy. Right? He's, yeah. probably, he's probably like a certified goofy, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Certified goofy. Well, speaking of sex, what do you got for us, Rock? Um, so, listen. Um, you know, today's generation, you know, we have this thing called social media. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just want to ask you two, um, how hurtful is social media in a relationship in today's like generation? Mm. So, you know, um, your girl could be perfectly fine, mm-hmm. like a relationship good, but she just see some nigga buy like his girl like a car or... Yo, like oh, basically, you like start comparison. you start you start comparing because you know. Okay, that's what you're saying. You know, like comparing comparing is like the killer of joy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. whenever you start comparing your your real life to people highlights, that's going to kill your joy. So it definitely fucked up a lot of people's expectations with things. Mm. That's why when you find a woman that's not crazy about it, it's good. But it's honestly, I don't think it's as many women out here as people think that are expecting things that they see from celebrities on social media. There are some out here, but I don't think it's as many as people think. I think it's more so the party girls that are mm-hmm. always around celebrities mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Bless you. Bless That's you. the first time I've ever heard a sneeze with a moan at the end of it. <laughs> that is very different. I know. Um, I've done it at work. Oh, it's just Do you normal. get comments off of that? Yeah, and I'm like... Uh, I mean, because when I sneeze, I actually definitely feel it. I just felt it come out. It goes to your vagina? Yeah, like buzz. I just no, like I just like a little bit of cum juice, juice came out. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you sneeze, so it, yeah, it's kind of appropriate for the moan. Oh, so it feels good too. Yeah, you are a very aroused person, Brittany. Absolutely. Just, All right. So what about what about when it comes to you know like say say your girl um say your girl you know she's very beautiful you know what I'm saying and um do you feel like it gives like a gateway for goofies to hop in her DMs? Or do you gotta like just re- gotta respect your girl, like know that your girl respect you enough to like not even in- yeah, entertain just it? Know her that she re- Cause dudes is going every every yes. woman gets hit on. Every you, woman gets hit on. Absolutely. Do you like, want to be with a girl that nobody wants? Exactly. Huh. If you get a pretty chick, you know it's going to be endless yes, dudes. Of that. Course. But I mean, you know, it's very emotional and spiritual and psychological the connection between a woman and a man that she's into so just do what you're supposed to do yeah if you're doing your thing (laughs) then i mean she she is such tunnel vision with other dudes it can be motherfucking 
Michael B. Jordan. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you in a relationship? You yeah. answer the question. Mm -hmm. Um, how, yeah. how do you feel? You know, with <laughs> social media and your woman, like, do you feel any type of way knowing that dudes will, you know, try to slide in her DM? Uh, nah, cause I mean, with her, like, she like literally like let it be formed. Like, I mean, let it let it like be sure that you know, like, all she wants is me. You know what I'm saying? Cause like it's been certain like cases where like you know, like dudes would slide on her, but mm -hmm. and she'll actually show me like yo, babe, look at this yeah. little, little yeah. shit right here. Like yeah. right. I'm just like, oh, that nigga ain't about shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. yeah, but um, <laughs> but nah though, she um, she she she's definitely like you know what I'm saying, like can be trusted. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to like shit like that though, mm. you know what I mean? What What's, about you, pretty? About me, what? What social media? Do you have any? Well, for both of y'all, do y'all have any expectations if you're dealing with someone seriously on social media as far as posting each other? Oh, man, I'm not posting no nigga. Women don't post dudes nowadays. They'll post a hand. All y'all yeah. do is post a hand now. Not for sure. Yeah, That's what y'all do. Little hints that if you're smart enough, you could put two yeah. and two together. Mm -hmm. And people think you up here think you being a detective. No, I'm giving you That's the clues. Purpose. No, what y'all yeah. what y'all really do is the passenger princess post. Yeah, mm -hmm. y'all stay doing that. What's that? In the car. When they in the car, uh, they in yeah. the passenger yeah. seat yeah. vibe yeah. into yeah. the. You know yeah. it's his car. Ah. Yeah. You see the Dodge headrest, <laughs> like yeah. you, you, you know it's a nigga's car, like yeah. you know what I mean. Get a little bit of his neck, like, right, right, yeah. or his arm, or his when, wrist. Yeah, 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 his wrist when he's leaning on the joint. She'll get a little yeah. bit of that, but yeah. that's his like, like, Yeah, yeah, but you'll know what it is. Once I mean, I be fuck with that because it's like yo, it ain't nobody's business. Yeah, yeah. 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 once you see the patch of the princess, yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah. Um. All right, so let me ask you this. <clears throat> You just mentioned earlier how you're a very aroused woman. I am. So I'll credit Rock with this question. How often, when you're dealing with someone, how often should you expect sex when seriously dealing with someone or in a relationship? Every day. And if you live together or spend a night, it's in the morning before you depart, mm -hmm. when you see them. Mm-hmm. So whenever you come back, like mm -hmm. from work or something, and then mm -hmm. before you go to bed, like trifecta hat so trick. You said three times a day. Three times a day. Hat three trick. times a yeah. day. Pull that joint a little closer to you. The mic was closer. To hey, you. three times a day. Keep the stress away. All right. What if he <laughs> says? What if he says I'm tired? I'm drained. Um. Then I'm gonna sit beside him and play with myself real hard, making him <laughs> feel bad. Like, yeah, look what this is doing, and you can't do. <laughs> I'm gonna talk shit. Uh, you so gonna talk shit too until, until he get up and be like, you know, I'm about, I'm, I'm about to whoop your shit, bro. What he is going to be sick. He's yeah, gonna, and I'm gonna turn my phone on, like the sound on, uh -huh. start texting a bunch of different people. What? And so the thing's gonna say, shoot, do do, and I'm gonna be texting. I'm like, <laughs> and still playing with myself. That and is now he yo, knows. women are sick. That yo, is dope. women are having sick. Having phone sex with somebody right next to you because you didn't want to. Women that is sick. diabolical. All because all because he only fucked you two times instead yes. of three. He's Yo, tired. he's going to he's going to he's going to be sick off of that. Wake up and smash your ass. Because I ain't gonna lie though. <laughs> while he's laying down and hearing your phone and hearing your Kiki and Haas. Bro, he, he, sleep, he, he hear that. He ain't sleeping through that. Yo, yo. <laughs> he ain't sleeping through that. He gonna wake up and tear your ass up. <laughs> and we gonna be fighting. But that's what you want. I'm not talking about fighting. I'm saying he gonna wake up and really oh, yeah, fuck the shit out of you. Y'all not the um. Toxic ones. Nah, well, when I say tear your ass up, I'm talking sex. When I say like, we talking I, about pull out, the, pull off your belt and whoop shit. Mm. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he gonna tear your ass up. I, I wasn't. No yeah. questions. Well, no make questions. shit whole whole time. That was probably the main point, right? <laughs> that is crazy. What about you, Rock? And you're actually in a relationship. So, what's your take on how often the pipe should be laid? In a um, relationship? you know, uh, I have an outstanding understanding on like life, so. Um, I be feeling like, you know, sometimes you're just not going to be into it. You know what I'm saying? Whether your partner is, want to be or not. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, like, just, you know, um, maybe, like, twice a day. Twice a day. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I'm a type of person, like, my woman has to be into it. Like, if you're not into it and maybe, like, she wants to do it just because I want to do it, I'm not fucking with that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know... When a woman is actually into it, like like Dave was saying like the other day, like we could feel that and we could feel like when you're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, like there's nothing like a woman that's like 
that that wants to fuck you, like as a man. So, <laughs> so I'm, like, like I'm telling you, because we're gonna fuck. Man, Facts. what? Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, like, and it, it ain't that. Like, don't not compare to that shit. I mean, you know, it's some things that Very come near passionate. it. Right. You know, and she not taking no for an answer. She she not trying to hear none of your excuses. None of that. Yeah, yeah. So because y'all don't like the sex when we sitting there and you doing nah. it like no, nope. I'm gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and you're a Sag. I think it's a Sagittarius thing, yeah, but absolutely. I'm the same way. Like yeah. I, I was just telling one shorty, like, mm-hmm. let me not, let me take that part out. Let me stop telling myself on all these episodes. But <laughs> um, I was I was, I told someone at some point I'm gonna say that I was like, <laughs> listen, like. Honestly, I have a lot of sexual discipline, but I love sex and mm-hmm. I be horny. But with that being said, whenever you mm-hmm. want to get busy, that's when we getting busy. Absolutely. Not when I want to. Absolutely. I mean, of course I would want to, but I, it's whenever you want to. Absolutely. Because I know Absolutely. it'll be that much Absolutely. better. Absolutely. And I, I had to learn that. I had to learn that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I mean, I mean but, uh, and also you can turn her on like when you want to, of course. Yes. Absolutely. I'm not saying no time ever when I want to. I'm going to just completely ignore it. No, but Absolutely. more times than not, I'm going to wait till she, and she'll give the signals. She will not even have to come out and say it. We could pick up the signals, the body yeah. language and all that shit, the fake yeah. attitudes and shit. We could pick yeah. that up. But yeah, yeah. it's when she wants to. Yeah. That's when I'm gonna really turn it on. Not for sure, cause you know, um, I'm usually like I like to be dominant, like when it comes to sex, you know what I'm saying? But when she like, nah, lay your ass down, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to she initiate t- this, yeah, it's it's going down. Does your girl uh never mind, that's a little personal. I'm not gonna ask that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask y'all, have you ever had a special connection with a song that you had amazing sex to? Mmm. I have sex to all kinds of songs, like "Welcome to My Sex Room." Yeah, yeah. So, so, so R and B songs. And okay, I so role play is, to it. Yeah, is that one of the songs that? Yeah, has a special place in your heart. Oh, and then cater to you, baby. I see you working hard. I'm gonna let you know. I'm proud. To let you know that I am not your what you do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you nah, have a playlist? Fuck with that. Yeah, I have some. I have some songs. It's on there. Yeah. So, what are some of your favorites? Let's see. What about you, Rock? Do you have a special connection to like, um, music that you had good sex to? Um, I'm gonna say uh, anything Pretty Ricky, cause um, pretty, 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 you know, growing pretty, up yeah. in Fayetteville, uh, shout out my boy CJ the DJ. Um, he used to throw like it's it was a blue building, mm-hmm. and he used to throw like these amazing parties. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying you if you you had to be there type right. shit. And um, you know, he played a lot of Pretty Ricky. So like during the times where it was only imagination mm-hmm. in our head, mm-hmm. you know, we was bumping and grinding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All on the ground. You know what I'm saying? To the to the Pretty Ricky. So you know, that was the that was the grinded on biddies. That was like when yeah. you first started getting mm-hmm. like twerked on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the house parties. You know what I'm saying? And, and, the then, and then you go you going home and you calling your man's like, like you see yo, you see when I was dancing with. <laughs> That shit was crazy. But she was quacking my man, shit. Man, what? That's when you had your mans hold you up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you yeah, were in the book, when it, your mans hold was, you up. It was man. all of that. It was all of that. And then and then you would go home and thought that you saw the world. Bro, you thought you got... It, it, that, that was the equivalent of getting some ass back in the Oh, day. everything I love. How old were y'all? How old were y'all when y'all got y'all first dance? Pretty, when you did your first dance on the mm. dude and when you received your first one. Mm. Let me let me start that. Let me start that. Uh I was just checking the time. Damn, got great time. Um, it was seventh grade, bro. Oh my god! It was to that. Um, it was to that usher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You got twerked on that? How was it? Man. How was she doing? Was she dropping it on you? Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah. Like she hurt. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. she was like for like the average seventh grade mm-hmm. grader. Like her shit was like super back there. You know Where y'all was at? Uh, the the dance. I went to Lewis Chapel, uh, Lewis Chapel Middle School, and and um, I had a dance. Oh, was that a middle school dance? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So and they let y'all get that close. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, like Fever Fever was different. So uh, I'm just sitting there, right? I'm sitting there. And I'm just seeing her, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, back then, I ain't had no confidence. So, mm-hmm. you know, when I'm, while I'm peeping, I'm like, man, should I do it? You know, I'm just in my head, like, should I do it? Then mm-hmm. I just grew some balls, and I actually, you know, I went and pressed it. So when I pressed it, I'm waiting on to see what she going to do. So when she kept, you know what I'm saying, like, 
Kept moving. Did she give you the look back test? Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's critical. When they give she, you that look back test to see if you're worthy. Absolutely. See if you're if you're handsome enough. Absolutely. Have you ever had a chick stop after giving you the look back test? I can't even count how many times I had that. <laughs> I can't even count. But like, but the thing is though, like, it, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's okay. Like every man goes through. Hey, it. Hey, right person, wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Hey, you gotta play it off like little ass butt. I want to try to get twerked on you, like bitch. But hey, pretty. I ain't gonna lie though, heart still oh. be like this though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it might fuck up your confidence for the rest of the night. You're like, damn. Yeah, but then once you get a good one that dance on you afterwards, you be back in the game. Yeah, 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 like yeah. You bet, you bet, like bitch, you, I ain't you bet, anyway. you bet, like you never left. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, so it was, um, it was, it was, yeah, it was that Usher, um, that year, um, seventh grade. That's a good one. What was yours? When was the first time you danced on a dude? I never really danced. My mom was super strict. Like, they, mm. my family was strict. I couldn't go to. Dances and twerk and do none of that. I can barely twerk now. <laughs> you don't practice in the mirror? Yeah. You do? Yeah. How is it? One to ten? Like a four. A four? Mm. Mm. I'm going to holler at my girl Callie for you. She'll get you right. Oh, thank you, girl. Yeah. But I can still like do left cheek, right cheek like when I'm bouncing it mm-hmm. and I'm like doing it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, because I mean, listen, yeah. just because you twerk don't mean you can do it on the dick. What two chains say you can't do it with the dick? And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, don't, that don't mean anything just because she can twerk. No, that's you know what I mean? It's that's different. It's different when you got to do it when you got some pressure on that's it. That's a Absolutely. You know that's what I mean? a fendi. It's definitely different. Different strokes, different folks. <laughs> no pun intended. Well, no, actually, yes, yeah, pun intended. Um, <clears throat> Pretty. Earlier, you mentioned that you're trying to talk to more bougie men nowadays. <laughs> How's that been going for you? think it's going good oh my god y'all i met this man he's like a millionaire i mm. usually i come across nice men but just my personality i think it's just too much for men and mm. i'm very upfront in the beginning when i talk to people i'm mm. always like i live my life unapologetically you i do this be. like yeah. mm-hmm. i can be a little ratchet but mm. i also can be professional mm-hmm. but i do enjoy these type of people and if such and stuff happened, this is my response to Absolutely. it. So they already know what type of girl they get. And I don't know if men think that like, okay, they have all this money or they have, they can get you whatever they want to get you mm-hmm. that you going to just like do whatever they want you to do. Yeah. It, it is a certain group of men. I think like that we'll yes. get to it later, but continue yeah, your story. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what this man is. And so he is like 41 years old. Um, like, n- well to do, nice man, but what do you mean well to do? What's that mean? Like so he has businesses. Okay. Yes. Entrepreneur. Yes. All right. So um yeah, so I hung up on him and he caught the worst attitude. Like, how dare you hang up on me? Who do you think you are? And I feel like hood niggas would just be like, Why the fuck you hang up on me? Mm-hmm. And that's it. But he started like he got calling sassy. me child. Yes, and that's sassy. exactly what happened. I called him sassy and what he pissed him off. I was mm. blocking him. He was calling me from different numbers on my Damn. other phones. I was like, I was like, I'm, don't make me call um, AT and T and get my number switched. He was like, ain't shit, AT and T could do wow. that to stop me. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, that sounds like a type of dude you shouldn't be dealing with. Bougie so, yeah. niggas are just not for me because then they become like, ugh. I mean, I would not because it's a different like it's a different caliber when it comes to bougie. You know what I'm saying, like. Cause you know you could say a person bougie off of like oh I'm gonna stay in the grand and heat me instead yeah, of the Marriott, like you know what I'm saying? But it just sounds like he's just a goofy with money. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah. It, that, I was, I'm glad you uh, pointed that. That's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like first off type of dude you don't want to be dealing with. But yeah, yeah, that legit sound like a a dude that has money now mm. that expects for women to bend over because he has money. Mm. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but never got mm-hmm. women when he didn't have money. Nah, for sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I, I got some homeboys that, yo, they was at zero dollars and they were bad. The bad, baddest. Baddest. You know what I'm saying? Because it's in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not on them. But, yeah. you know, it's crazy when it's in you and on you pause. You yeah, know what facts, saying? facts. So, and, oh, like, and, and then, then you're untouchable. I mean, really, you could be untouchable beforehand. Nah, once for you, sure. Once you, like you said, and in, 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 in you and on you, then, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's a whole nother level. But nah, for sure. Yeah, that's, and, and that's, unfortunately, what we're dealing with a lot is, days, especially yeah. with, like, these podcasts and shit. Mm-hmm. It, when you know these podcasts with dudes, what do they call them? Like, um, 
What's that? Womanizer bash. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh womanizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know dudes that have podcasts that just talk shit about women. Oh yeah, like about um, how they should do. Oh, everyone tries. Oh yeah, women. like everyone. Like that. Everyone tries to follow the Kevin Kevin Samuels wave. Yeah. First off, Kevin Samuels ain't bash women. He tried to you know really just. Put educate. a mirror in front yeah. of women and educate them. Because nah, sure. he used to come at men hard, pause. But he, his yeah. whole thing was just to <laughs> educate and bring people together. Absolutely. But yeah, I loved him. Yeah, like yeah. he was really on point. And, I'm, and it's crazy you said that because it's always the bum joints that said he was gay <laughs> or that his shit was trash. But you'll see like women that really be on a shit that was yeah. like, no, he made sense. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, he was yeah, trying to yeah. get people married. Yeah. But anyway, I say that to say that <laughs> you have on these podcasts and social media dudes that are adults now, either with money or whatever may have you, and they expect every woman to get on a page, but they still don't got it in them, like Roxanne. Nah, for right. sure. And I've noticed it a lot mm-hmm. with comments on yeah, yeah. some of my posts. Yeah. Because, you know, I post a lot of stuff with women, and I let women get their shit off. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And these comments, especially as of recently, like, okay, example, <laughs> shout out to Leah. Shout out to Leah. Leah Lay. She, she, you know, had a real talk about how some she doesn't just kiss any and everybody. Right. Yeah. She's big on her hygiene. Yeah. So you got to really, like... Yeah, you know, really be on your shit yeah, for her to want to kiss you. Yes. Absolutely. And dudes in a comment was so fucking disrespectful because that's her preference. Exactly. Like, what? God forbid a woman has an opinion or a preference <laughs> that a clown ass dude mm. is against. Oh my he god, he will truly show his bitch oh. ass colors. <laughs> nah, for sure. And I'm starting to realize for that. Sure. And then you go to the page of these dudes that leave these disrespectful ass comments. Mm. And they are fucking cornballs. Goofies. <laughs> I'm about to start dropping a comment, and every time they leave, want to say, "Show me your girl. Yeah. Show me, show me your bottom joint yeah. right now. Show me yeah. your yeah. your best yeah. piece yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Show me her. Yeah. But, and, and then, because if it's a thorough dude, mm-hmm. first off, they're not gonna be angry at a chick's preference. Nah, they're not gonna sure. give a fuck, right? Nah, for sure. They're not even gonna comment. And if they do, they'll just be on some calm shit. That's right. what I'm we ain't saying. got time to worry about women's business. Yeah. It's always these bitch ass dudes, yeah. cornballs that never got no play in at high up. school or yeah. college. <laughs> now up. they're grown. They preach, may make a couple up. dollars. Yeah. Now yes. they're like, okay, yeah, women, y'all supposed to do this for me. No, mm-hmm. no nah. money don't unlame your nah, bitch for ass. for sure. Cause like, I gotta stop <laughs> dropping these comments Talk whenever I have women on my motherfucking show with this disrespectful ass shit. I'm sick of it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I don't yeah. have women on here to bash women. I have yeah. women on here to get their shit off yeah. and put themselves out there and be unapologetically down. I'm telling like, you. pretty. I'm so telling these you. dudes that be coming crazy in the comments that just be lame ass dudes, y'all got to stop saying. that shit. And you got to, uh, fellas, you got to understand that, like, yo, women, most of the time, their first language is energy. Bro, they going to know if you was a goofy, bro, off of what the fuck is coming out of your mouth. Yeah, they can feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just of how your appearance, like, it's so many things that women check to see like what type of dude you are. My thing is, my nigga, if you a flat, D Rock, what's a flat? A flat out goofy, just be that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, 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 it's never too late to stop being a flat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like hire your vibrations, you know what I'm saying? Read, you know what I'm saying? Uh get in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Do things to hire your vibrations and then you could you could un unflat yourself. You know what I mean? I like that flat shit, but yeah, I, I just I just had to get that shit off because I, I mean it's 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 crazy. It's it, crazy. it seemed like you that, that should have been on your chest for a minute. It has, it has, it has, it has. Um, <clears throat> so all right, so you're like okay, the bougie men are kind of like off my list. So are you going? So you're originally attracted to street dudes. We talked about it on the last yeah, episode, we did. actually. We you like sure street did. dudes, scammers too, right? Then you have a recent uh. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a recent thing with a scammer? I did. Living your truth. When I saw him at Circle G's, he got in my face trying to like beat my ass. I was scared to even talk about it. I think he was scared that I was going to do like a Ressa Tessa, that girl who went viral for telling for her talking story. talking about the shit? Yeah, because if I tell... If if we get a bunch of likes on this, mm. I will tell my story and just fuck him. I just won't go to Circle G. All right, <laughs> but, cool. So, all right, if y'all, if y'all wanted to talk about it, then... Ooh, y'all better... Ooh. All right, so no more... Oh, Jesus so, Christ. So, so no more scammers? <laughs> no. Hey, can, I, can I ask you this, no though, Pretty? Um, so not. what what is it about a street dude that, like, turns you on or, like, like draws you to him? I like the masculinity and I like the old school traditional. Like I know what I'm getting. Like mm. he gonna cheat, okay, but he gonna come back and take care. Oh, 
Take care. Oh, I know I'm gonna get the comments on this. Uh, part. Nah, no, so what you say? We we live in our truth. We live in our we live in our truth. You know, we just know what we gonna get with street niggas. They mm-hmm. are so predictable. All right, so when it comes to that, like you don't mind him going to go fuck with other bitches as long as he know what home is. Is that and what you saying? Don't bring me no STDs. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Or no, no extra kids, because I really don't know how I would take like a kid made yeah. on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's fair. Hey, that's, that's, that's a yeah. tough pill to swallow. I mean, but is it really? Because it's the it's the case for a lot of women, but they're mm-hmm. in denial about it. I know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And they mm-hmm. want they want that to not be the case. But I mean, if it is the case and you don't know about it, then and I'm not saying every dude cheats. That's respectful. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. and you know, shit, Samuels, Kevin Samuels, you talk about this shit heavy, but mm-hmm. not every dude cheats. No, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they might not have a chance. Men are gonna cheat. It's just have they had that opportunity. Uh. Cause women, the, y'all get the day again, y'all get hit on twenty three times a day. At I least. mean, every every day, every day a man wake up, he has a chance to cheat. He does, so it's just like, ooh, he fought another day. <laughs> if he didn't cheat. No, so, what sure. is your ideal man today? Since we're not dealing with bougie or scammers anymore, someone who pays all the bills. Mm. I don't mind cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids and. You know, being your support if you you know need mm-hmm. me to be your secretary or doing mm-hmm. whatever you need me to do. Yeah. But I don't want to. So pay is, rent. is there a other man, uh, another man out there that say he's not able to pay all the bills right then and there? Like now, when y'all start dating, is there another man out there that you would like submit to, other than someone that don't pay all the bills? Would I talk to someone who doesn't pay the bills? Yeah. No. Damn. I don't. Yeah. Mm-mm. Well, you know, it's crazy. I asked Callie this, and she gave the exact same answer. Damn. Like, I asked, what's your ideal man? Her first answer was a provider. Mm-hmm. I said, what if he can't provide? Would he get a chance? She's like, eh, not really. Think about it. People like to get into situations and think that people going to change. Why would I get into a situation knowing that's not what I want, and I'm going to intentionally be unhappy? I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Like What, what factor makes you unhappy in a situation? That you're not providing. That he can't provide? Yeah, like, I... But, what if he, um like the movie with Taraji, what if at the moment he can't, but he has a promising future that's building and it can get to that point sometime? Right. right. Okay, if he's actively like trying yeah. to, yeah, because you know, a lot of people, they always, they have a dream or I'm going to, they have goals, but they don't he's take He's showing the steps. that he's building towards oh, okay. a promising future. Would you hold him down until yeah, he gets I there? Would, yeah, you would I would. hold him down? Because if you want someone that's straight to being able to fully provide and take care of your bills, he's not going to be 26, 27, 28, 29, mm, 30 years old. Anyway. Unless he's, you know, a trapper or a scammer or something. I mean, but that's I mean. short term. Yes, that's not yes. really long term. So yeah. if you want someone that can really provide for mm-hmm. you, he's going to be in his 40s. That's fine. Off bucks. 40s, 50s, 60s. And then if you want someone younger, like we said, he'll build to that eventually. You just got to be able to hold him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, because anything fast don't last. Why? Y'all, y'all got some people in mind for me? Uh... Uh, I mean, I got, I got, I got a couple of homeboys that are. That would are, they be able to provide for her? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for they'll sure. take care of the bills. Absolutely, absolutely. They, they won't be calling me a gold digger. Nah, 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 nah. Like they'll just let you know, like, oh, that's what you want. Well, shit, that's what we want. Okay, that's but right. they definitely not doing just cause. You definitely gonna have to put them oh, on. Duh. Who, who would even do that? That is so shit. selfish. Well, shit. Some people out here. Nah, for sure. Oh. Some old heads, especially because yeah. they don't got nobody in their life. So they'll nah, pay a woman's sure. bills just because. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Just, but I, just talk to me. Just answer the phone when I pick up. Yeah. I mean, that's oh, all I, I can need. do that. All right, so, so Rock <laughs> got... It's an agreement. You know what? Mm-hmm. Maybe we should do a blind date episode for you as well. We got one for Callie. I think we should do one for Pretty as Let's well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I'm going to say this about you, Pretty. A lot of people always ask about you whenever you're in the vicinity. At the uh, at the live show, yeah, at the yeah. live show with Larry and Lionel, mm-hmm. yo, every dude that was there that I knew asked about you. Yeah, Not and girls sure. was asking about me. Every and, and, and you ain't even have to do nothing. You were just chilling. I didn't have to do nothing. It was like there was like two two dudes I worked with was like, yo, the pretty joint. Who that? Da, da, da. And then oh, I'm so honored. And then our homeboy, Thank I ain't gonna say his name. You know what I'm talking about. We yeah. was just talking about him yeah, earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, I think he asked for your IG or got your IG. He's like, hey, I need pretty, bro. Oh. Matter of yeah. fact, he talked about you because I was like, he, I, he knows that we're doing an episode. I'm gonna tell you what, what he, he said. What does verbatim. he do? Uh, Have I seen him? Yeah. Well, if you want someone that can provide for you, then I don't. Have I talked? <laughs> <laughs> he was like. 
He was like, oh, yeah, I'll break pretty old, pretty big ass down. And, and sent the kissing emoji. You don't break my pretty big ass down. <laughs> he said that earlier. He, and I sent doubt the, it. Let me see what he looked like. Uh, you talking about, about the right now? You talking about the boy. You the boy. The boy. I'm about to show you. Call him right now. You want me to? Yeah, yeah let's call him. Call him. You going to FaceTime him? I'm going to answer. FaceTime? What did he say? I'm going to be like. <laughs> what did he say he was gonna do? Break your he's he's gonna break your big old pretty ass down. <laughs> Put yeah. it by the mic so we so that the people okay. can hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this shit gonna be <laughs> <laughs> What's taking him so long? Uh, oh, he about to miss out on the uh, fucking I know. opportunity. He he could've almost broke my pretty big ass down. <laughs> Not, Swing and I wanna know how he was gonna do it. Damn, he fucked that money up. That Damn, been dope. now yeah, he can't read up. He probably with the other boy. We'll see, yeah, we'll see if he yeah. calls back. We'll yeah. see. We'll see if he calls back. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> then you said the the kiss. <laughs> yeah, yo, he wasn't playing with you. He was he was on Cali head top two last week. Shit, his little ass, his little ass needs to. He, he he want him a little. You he, know what I mean? Is he horny? Yeah, I guess so. He was on Cali head top. Mm. Um, but he yeah, young. We're, we're gonna set up a. Yeah, he's our age, I guess. Right, he's about 29, 30, 28. Um, he like now nah, he's a little younger than you. He like twenty seven. Oh, he's younger. Okay, yeah. Twenty seven. Yeah, I actually want a, a dating show. Yeah, um, I did sure. something during COVID like that. Like, really? Right. How did it go? I um basically made people do like a little um questionnaire about what they wanted, mm. and then I met them. Uh, well, I matched them with people that they said they they mm. wanted, mm. but they couldn't. Um, they had to text each other, but they couldn't exchange pictures for okay. three days. Okay. And so just kind of get to know that person for three days before you That's see what dope. they look like. And some people was okay with it, but some people I was like, but this is exactly what you wanted right. them, but not physically. Yeah. But you didn't want them. I'm like, right. see. Physical really does matter with Absolutely. people. Absolutely. It, it was cool. Okay. But people who don't know what they think they know what they want, but uh, they don't know what they want. Mm -hmm. First off, that <laughs> idea was is very dope. Um, we're gonna have to collab when we put something Thank together. You. But uh let me ask y'all this since you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. The show Love is Blind. I was mm -hmm. watching it and I seen a dude propose to a chick he's never seen. Oh my god. Yeah. Do, do y'all think Oh, there you go. Hold there on. He call cutting. back. Yeah, go ahead and answer. He said he was going to wait. He was going to do gonna it. break your big ass down. <laughs> he going to break your big pretty ass down. You said you was going to break my big pretty ass down. Uh -huh. Bring it by the mic. Uh -huh. It's on some what happened. You said you was going to break my big pretty ass down. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm here. Get in there. Tell me how you gonna do that. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's crazy. What, what you? Oh my god! He, he said you gonna pull up. <laughs> gonna pull up? <laughs> oh my god! Lord have mercy. Set the tone, boy. <laughs> not, not like that, but the kick shit though. Okay. What do you say? All right. He said, "How long are you gonna be over there for?" <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm hit you back. I, hey, listen, that was your, you know what I mean? That You're supposed to apply chance. pressure. I've been long. <laughs> he should have been like, "Shut it, what your name is?" Bro, <laughs> man, you can't say it, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, no, what you doing is crazy. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh man, I, hey, I gave him the oop. He man, did. Niggas, niggas, hey, look, niggas are gonna drop the ball if you put it in here. I gave him the oop. Yeah, I gave him the oop. Um, men be scared. Yeah. Well, do you, do you see do you see that often like a dude like talk good on mm -hmm. text or DMs but in person it's not like that? <laughs> oh yeah, I apply a lot of pressure to men. Mm. Sometimes I I love bombs sometimes. Bombs? Love bomb like oh. give a bunch of love so let them experience the amazing prettiness mm -hmm. and then they're like, "Oh, they're like, oh my God, what's going on? And then they want me and they craving me. Mm -hmm. Or then some of them will get scared and I'm like, what you scared for? Nah, See, this is what you said you wanted, yeah. but you said, I, I got two hands I can handle you. I'm giving you a lot to handle, and look, you scared. So. Drop, dropping the oh, ball. so you put the pressure on oh, yeah. and bluff. I, mm. Men, they'll say, I want you to be my girlfriend. So I'll be like, all right, we go together now. Yeah. 
And then they be like, oh, I'm like, I said, but you just said you wanted to be my girl. Hey, pressure make diamonds, man. So yeah. if you're not cut like that, if you're not cut <laughs> like that, stay over there. Yeah. I know. Stop <laughs> saying stuff y'all don't mean. So after they get nervous, what typically happens? Do they kind of just throw in the white towel or do they like still mm -hmm. try to fake it till they make it? I still give them a little. If I really want to see if they could persevere, I give them a little. Mm. But if not, I'm like, all right, on to the next. Like mm. Gucci Man said, like so, buses. Miss one, next, next 15, 15, one coming. Hey. Absolutely. That is such a great bar. <laughs> such a great bar. Let me fix this camera right quick. Well, um, yeah, that's a sign that, uh, you know, step your step your money up, not your funny up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I mean? That's a good way to like put it. Like, if, if you ain't built for it, then exercise yeah. until you do. Come Desi, on. I will whoop your fucking ass if you go down there looking for that food. Take your stinking ass over there and sit down. Matter of fact, just sit down where you at. Sit down. You slick. <laughs> sit down. Nah, because the food on there she's trying to go for. Here's the thing with Desi. Mm -hmm. You see, and how Hi, you baby. just said, oh, Desi is a <laughs> sneaky motherfucker. No, right. you can't be. Are mom. you kidding me? <laughs> you can't be. Look at how my, sweet you are. And see, that's that's how she gets people. Cause she <laughs> looks sweet. People are like Desi could never. Desi is fucking sneaky. You're oh sneaky. my god, she is sneaky. Hey, Desi said you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> is, she, is she like her father? I'm sneaky not, Lane. I'm not sneaky. You're not sneaky. Nah. I mean, I'm not sneaky to be sneaky from somebody. I'm sneaky because I'm just low key. Oh. If that makes sense. But yeah. I'm not sneaky just to be devious. But not for sure. I, but I finesse a lot, so I know when she's trying to finesse because mm. I'm a finesse myself. Can't you can't, can't, you can't, can't finesse, finesse a finesse. Finesse, Yeah. People think, oh, she's so sweet. No, you see how she came over here and sat down like she was just trying to kick it with me and you. And then what she do? Dropped her head right down by the food. Mm. Her attention is the other way. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, I kind of admire it at sometimes. I'm like, damn, that's good. That's something I would do. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. can't be, I can't be too mad at it. Nah, hell no. Nah. You know what I mean? She watching you. Yeah. Um. Well, this was a great EP. What? First off, what do y'all have going on this week? What is this week looking like for y'all? We're halfway through April. I know. What the fuck? Um. I mean, me personally, this put me back in my mode. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be setting up a lot of interviews. Um, yeah. Yeah. Shout out. For, yeah. Shout out y'all platforms. Okay. Um. You know. On um, Instagram, um, it's Trash Talk, W I T with Rock, um, 1991, um, and just follow me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to sit down, um, if I want to sit down with you, I just don't sit down with anybody. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> if I want to sit down with you and I feel like you're interesting, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we can set that up. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem with that. But um, yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm definitely about to pick this up. You know what I'm saying? The merchandise coming soon. Um, and you know, uh, me and the team, we're trying to like get into traveling. So, uh, if you're out of state, no worries. Um, we'll come to y'all, you know, and um, that's just how we rocking. If it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, pretty? What do you got going on this week? I don't have much. Well, I'm trying to, you know, build my businesses up. So yeah, absolutely. think of some new marketing there you go. Okay. and some more content. Yeah. I'm a brand ambassador of, of a company. Absolutely. Yeah. So I done got in my little sexy. If y'all go to my page, that damn pretty, you'll see a little bit of lingerie. Ooh, yeah, I saw it. Get your shit off. Yeah. I hate. <laughs> she, trying, she trying to put that what, shit what on. What about yeah. you? What about I was you, like, not Dave? too much. Yeah. But. Um, this week, I got work. Okay. Uh, This Friday. By the time yeah. this come out, it'll be over with. But this Friday, throwing a housewarming party. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be lit. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Lord. Games, karaoke. Yes, sir. Do you, I'm gonna steal your joint. Do your homework on day day throwing parties. <laughs> like, in, and I said day day because like in high school, yeah. and maybe a little bit of college. Mm -hmm. Like when I do parties, and even outside of that, like yeah, yeah it's, it's always gonna be fun. Always I, actually, vibe. actually heard about some of your parties. Man. Always a great vibe. Yeah. So, it's gonna yeah. be boys. Man. No, I I invited straight biddies. Oh my god! Why well, I look like biddies. I want to come to just? I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be the gang there. No, I invited some homeboys, but I invited way more women. I always invite more women to my parties. For you. Or for for everyone for the whole scene, um, yeah. but I invite dudes. It's gonna be dudes there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be single men there, so you can know you can get your your scope on. Yeah, but um, it's it's gonna be a lot of women too. Plus niggas destroy shit. Yeah, yeah. Niggas destroy shit. And, and, and go home and go home and lose no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they don't lose no sleep. No niggas will fuck treat them. nothing, bro. Yeah, yeah, niggas yeah, will yeah. trash your shit quick. Yeah. You know, women again, women's touch. So yes, yeah, yeah. it's, it's gonna be lit though. Like I said, games, karaoke, chicken wings, liquor. Yeah. What more can you ask for? Oh, yeah. yeah. Pool, air hockey. Like, it, it's going to be lit. Um, yeah. So, yeah. that's all I got going on. And then next weekend, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Andy, the boss. He's going to be pulling up from D.C. We're going to be shooting an episode. Shout and, out to Andy. Um, and then I got a link with my Yadamine. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, day, I just... 
you know, it's just whatever you you want to call it. Yeah. Yo, I'm at the yada I mean, or I'm with my yada I mean. Like it just depends on the situation. Is that a girlfriend? Technically, no. It just depends on who asking, you know. <laughs> but nah, day, I just wanted to take the time, like you know, what I'm saying, like just, Shit. just to, um, you know, I watched you come out here, um, with a, with a, uh, with a mission, you know, what I'm saying, like a plan, you know, what I'm saying, and um, you know, me just watching you from start to finish, like you said that you're now doing everything that you said you was gonna do, you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and um, just for you, like it's not even a numbers game, but then again, it is for you to reach a million, bro, like that's a milestone, bro, yeah. like. You know, it's like give it up, give it up for my boy Dave. Because like you know, like that's people are like doing whatever it takes to do that, and you did it yeah. effortlessly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I just wanted to let you know, like, yo, like you're made for this, bro. Yeah. Um, don't ever stop doing this. Um, don't ever stop creating. Um, because now you gave us, you know, um, the platform. You know what I'm saying? So right. you know, um, you know, you're you're definitely gonna like be able to give people like you know what I'm saying like a like a voice, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you're giving a voice to the voiceless, mm. you know what I'm saying? And um, bro, like, you know, you could take this however, like wherever you want to take this, you could take it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like, um, yeah, I'm proud of you, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Seriously, yeah. I, I really appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate and you know, I brought y'all, like I said in the beginning, y'all will see these two, uh, you know, pretty often, but I brought y'all on because like I said, I wanted to build a team, got the inspiration from Larry Lionel, but not just with anybody. Mm-hmm. First and foremost, people that support me, Rock mm-hmm. has been crazy supportive since day one, mm-hmm. and pe- people, and as, as as well as you, pretty, and mm-hmm. people that you know are like minded and have mm-hmm. you know just good energy and mm-hmm. good and something good to offer in motion. That's mm-hmm. why Larry and Lionel, even when they saw you on my journey, that's why they hit you up. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they've seen plenty of episodes that I've had with different people, but they hit you up off yeah. of yours Aww. because you have motion, mm-hmm. right? And, and then uh, same with you, Rock. Mm-hmm. I saw you interview Hot Boy Shaq mm-hmm. one-on-one. Mm-hmm. That was one of the best interviews I've ever seen mm-hmm. from regular podcasts, BET, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck you want to call it. That mm-hmm. shit was amazing. Mm-hmm. You did your homework on him. You mm-hmm. were bringing up stories that he was like, oh shit, you was on your Nardwar shit. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. <laughs> so it only made sense to bring yeah. y'all to I think three is you know a perfect number I think four is kind of a crowd mm-hmm. even though we will do four people episodes but mm-hmm. that's why I brought y'all to yeah, you know what I mean yeah, so it's yeah, just all yeah. full circle yeah. I appreciate the support for y'all absolutely, but absolutely. we just starting this is the first episode man. we just motherfucking let's started, go man. You let's know go what I mean? yeah. but you know we're, we're definitely <laughs> going to take it to uh to high heights in the year 2024 and beyond absolutely and of course we got to give a shout out to Desi Dez who always makes her guest appearance shout out Desi yo you know Desi yeah, shorty, I see you, baby. <laughs> um, and then, of course, most importantly, shout out to everybody tuning in, whether you're watching or listening. Mm-hmm. Um, this will be nothing without y'all supporting. Absolutely. And um, I can yeah. tell that, you know, the day-by-day community is growing. And Absolutely. It's, that's really the best feeling. Absolutely. When, like, you know, I just moved. So, you know, I went, like, a good three, four weeks without posting anything. And mm. people were on my ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it's going to be like that. Yeah, I got a message, like, um, just let you know, you know, we're impatiently, impatiently. patiently waiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, I got you. So, Fans. you know, I shout out to every. Supporter. Yeah, yeah, support community. I like community better. I'm going to call it the day party. That's what I'm going to name the Ooh. community. So shout out to the day party, you Ooh. know, for tuning in. Ooh, I like um, that. This will like be nothing that. without y'all. And uh, make sure that you like, subscribe, uh, comment, share this out. Everything really helped this, you know, get boosted in the algorithm. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to That Damn Pretty. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Trash Talk with Rock. I'm going to drop both of their handles so that you can check out their brands. Yes, they please. both have IG, YouTube. Um, so, you know, make sure that you support them as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're rocking with me, you're rocking with them. Absolutely. Right? So, no until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Mm-hmm. We out this bitch. Peace. Yee! Oh, shout out to V Cuisine. Shout out to V Cuisine for the food. Shit was yeah. amazing. I'm yeah. about to tear this great. shit up. Yeah. Shout out to my girl Valencia. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tag her page as well, her food page. Mm-hmm. She's going to start doing plates, you know what I mean, delivering. And um, I don't even know or care what she's going to charge for her plates, but I'm buying okay, every time. Too. It's nothing like a home cooked meal. Mm-hmm. And she's Jamaican. She's from the motherland. Everybody know I am about Jamaican women. So shout out, to, <laughs> shout out to Valencia. You did your thing, girl. You put you your did. drawers in these plates, and the I'm about draws. to go ahead and finish it off. Yeah. We out this bitch. Man, let's get it. All right. You did.